Hello, this is Elise, and we are going to be going over playing sound and recording sound using the uh, appropriate boxes and how to combine these boxes. We're going to be talking a lot about files and file transfers. So let's go to your box libraries under audio sound. You've got both of the boxes that we'll be interested in, and we'll start with the play sound box. Let's take a look at the parameters. So you're going to need to give it a file to play, a sound file to be precise. And this is the project content. This is the, the files that are included in the project when it gets sent over to the robot to play. Since I don't have my sound file already attached to the project, I'm going to import a file. Let's see. We're going to go with Now Software, and we're going to use that Macarena that I used in a different tutorial. All right, so we imported that. We're going to highlight it and press OK. So now we've got the sound file that we're going to play, and I want to begin five seconds in because I don't like the Macarena intro. I could set it at any other time. I also don't want it to play as loud as it otherwise would, only 70% of the normal volume. The balance looks good, equal between left and right. I don't want the Macarena played in a loop, by golly. So let's give this a shot. This will take a little bit extra time to send the files over since you've got a big old sound file included in the project. Okay, so now we know what the Macarena sounds like five seconds in. Now supposing you wanted the robot to do something else while it's playing uh, that, that uh, music, for instance walk to somewhere or dance, you can connect them in parallel and if you want it to stop playing the sound when it's done walking forward, you can connect the outputs of walking forward to the uh, stop input of the play box so that it will start playing and walking at the same time. And once it's finished with this behavior, it stops this behavior. That's how you can control the start and stop of the play box. Okay, well, we're not going to walk around because the robot is on a table right now. So let's move on to the record sound box. Now one thing I've noticed about recording a sound is that the robot gives you no signal that it started recording. So I like to put a say box or a touch sensor or something else right before it so that you know that the, the recording has started. Okay, let's take a look at the parameters you, you can give it. So first you can give your recording a name so that you can get it later if you want to. I'm going to call mine Crazy Compo. You can choose what uh, microphones to use, and since I want a .wav file, I'm going to use this microphone array. Temporary storage is pretty imp important. If it's checked, it means that this recording only lasts as long as the behavior is running. As soon as it stops, this just completely disappears. You can't use it anymore. If you want to get the recording off the robot and onto your computer, you need to uncheck this, and we'll go into the robot afterwards and get it. Timeout is the length of, the, of time that the robot will record for. So say I want a five, four, four and a half second recording or so. I'm going to set it to about right there. And the robot will stop recording after four and a half seconds. All right. Let's do it. Oh, looks like I still got the Macarena included, so it's going to take a while. Start speaking now. Hi, robot. How are you doing with this recording business? All right, looks like four and a half seconds elapsed and it has finished recording. So now let's go into the robot and check it out. So we're connected to this robot successfully, and that means that under the connection menu, we can go to advanced file transfer to see all the files and folders that are on the robot right now. I can go through and under recordings, microphones, I've got that WAV file that I, uh, that I had it save. I can delete it, I can create another folder in here, and what I'd really like to do is download it. I want to save it, say, to my desktop. I can also, while I'm navigating through this folder system, I can upload files from my own computer if I feel like that's important. Okay, so let's go to my desktop and play this file. Hi robot, how are you doing with this recording business? Sounds like it uh, 
also recorded some noise from its internal running, but it sure did get my voice with pretty good fidelity. So cool. That is the record sound. What if we wanted to combine them together? A play sound box and a record sound box so that it records something and then plays it right back at me. Well, instead of trying to hook these up all fancy-like, there's another way of doing this. I'm going to cut the record sound box, go into the play sound box, and replace this get attached file business with the record sound box. I just pasted it right there. You see, this output sends the absolute path of the recorded file, and this input expects a path of a file to play. So this is a very good matchup right here. And in fact, it's okay to have the temporary storage checked because you only need this recording to last as long as it needs, as this behavior is, is lasting. All it needs to do is record it and then play it back. So I want a five second recording, okay. We're going to play it from the start, full volume, sounds good. Let's see what happens when we play this. And also I'm going to take this off of my project. Move to trash so it doesn't take so long uploading. And when I come back here, I can say, yes, I want to take it out of my project. Okay. Let's play. Hey, robot. I am talking to you and you're recording me. Hey, robot. I am talking to you and you're recording me. That's pretty nifty. All right. Thanks for listening. And I hope you have lots of fun recording and playing sounds with your robot.